In GimKit Creative, we have all kinds of devices that can do different things. And we can set up connections between devices and other devices or objects by using wires, which are pretty straightforward. We can just say, OK, I'm going to connect a wire from this button to this guy. And then I get a pretty easy to understand menu that pops up. OK, when I press the button, I can activate this sentry or I can deactivate this sentry. But wires are not the only way that we can control behaviors of devices between each other. We can also use uh, what GimKit calls channels. So channels work kind of like remote control broadcasts. So if you think about your TV remote, when you push a button on the remote, the TV turns on. So we're broadcasting a message from the remote to the TV. So channels can be a useful way um, to create more connections between items in your game. So I'll show you an example here. I want to create uh, a channel that's going to activate my, my sentries. I can do that. Um, so if I click on one of my sentries, I can go over to an option called channels, and I have some options here. When a sentry is knocked out, I can transmit on whatever channel name I want. You can see I already have some other channels in this game that I've created. But I'm just going to say Sentry Active so that I know exactly what my channel is going to do for me. Um, or actually, let's say Sentry Knocked Out. Here we'll say Sentry Active. Say Sentry Deactive here. And I can make these names whatever I want. I'm just um, calling them this so that I know exactly what I'm looking for. Um, so now, when the sentry gets knocked out, it's going to broadcast this message. When the sentry receives this men message, sentry active, it will become active. And when the sentry receives this message, it will become deactivated. So we need something else that's going to send these two messages out so that it knows to start and stop. So I'm going to use this button right here. And I have a channels option here as well. And when the button is pressed, I'm going to say, Let's activate our sentries, sentry active. Um, so let's try that out and see if it works. So we don't have any wire connecting these sentries, but um, if I play test my game, I'm hoping that I can push this button and um, this sentry will become active. Shot by the other sentry. And now he's active because he received that channel that I created. So if I had another button somewhere that said deactivate um, or sentry deactive and I pushed that, he would receive that broadcast message, that channel, and deactivate. That's how channels work. You can use channels to create connections between um, one input and lots of outputs, um, which is a little bit more functional and useful than the wires, whereas the wires are pretty straightforward and easy to understand. This is kind of like a the next step up in terms of um, scripting and coding and those, those uh, game systems.